Welcome to video 101 in series 3, and now we're going to write a script for the hit effects. Okay, make a new script and call it gun hit effects. Open it up. Private gun master, gun master. Public game object. Default hit effect. Public game object, enemy hit effect. No need for start and update. Now void spawn default hit effect. And it's going to need parameters, two of them. Vector 3, hit position. These will be supplied by the event. Uh, for those event shot default and event shot enemy. Anyway, continuing on and transform, hit transform. Next, void spawn. Why don't I just copy this? Spawn enemy hit effect. If enemy hit effect is not equal to null, then in that case, instantiate it. So instantiate enemy hit effect at the hit position. Just quaternion uh, dot identity. So the hit transform is actually no use to this method. It's used uh, later, but we just pass it that so we can use the event. And this one is the default hit effect. And again, default hit effect. So same sort of code for the spawn default hit effect. All right, for set initial references, gun master is get component. Gun master, no, not gun hit effects. How do I do that? Oops. Gun master, there we go. Call that set initial references. Okay, gun master dot event shot default plus equal spawn default hit effect. And now the same sort of thing except event shot enemy. And this is spawn enemy hit effect. Okay, that's it. So this all the script does is it listens to events and then spawns the relevant particle systems at the supplied hit positions. That's all it's doing. Nice and simple. Let's go and do something with it. Let's attach it. Gun hit effects. Let's go find the prefabs. Gun components. No, hit effects. There we go. So this is default. This is enemy. Okay, time to jump in. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. Let's see the enemy. Yeah, now we can see that it's just working fantastic. Oh, we've got a message coming up. It's coming from the uh, particle system destroyer. Let me turn on burst fire. Ooh. All right, so yeah, I think I think that proves that. Okay, enough. Let's go look at this one. So we don't need this message coming up. It's just telling us that it's doing its job. So comment that out. This wasn't our script, but just comment that out. And we shouldn't have that message anymore. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.